In this video, I'm going to show you how to automatically increment numbers in Google Sheets. So there's a few different ways to do this, so I'm just going to show you three different methods. Uh, so the main reason that most people want to learn to auto increment numbers is to create um, just a kind of index number for their spreadsheet so that they can sort by that index number and return it to its original order or there's plenty of other reasons you might want to auto increment numbers. Um, so the first method I'm going to show is just using autofill with the fill handle. Um, this is going to be the easiest method if you're just trying to create a basic um, index number in your spreadsheet. So what you want to do is in your spreadsheet um, you put two uh, consecutive numbers. So here I put one, two, and then what you want to do is you click and highlight them and then there's this uh, little blue square in the bottom right corner so you just double click on that and then what that is going to do is it's going to increment all the way down um, until you reach the end of your data um, so in this next uh, column I have data up to uh, row 101 and so when I autofill it's only going to go down to that um, if you want to go beyond that um, what you can do is um, highlight a few of them and then there's this little blue square again you can just click and drag and that will um, increment more numbers this also um, can be used uh, columns it works the same way so you see it's incrementing if it's not a consecutive number it's not going to increment it's just going to uh, copy the number or um, if you have numbers in between, it'll just um, carry on with incrementing by like the difference between these numbers. Um, so that is one way is just using autofill with the fill handle. Um, another method that works pretty well is there's actually functions, uh, row and column, that will return uh, well the row, row and column you're on. So if I just use this row function, um, if I just leave it blank, it is just going to uh, return the number of the row I'm on. Um, so no, no matter where I have it, it's always just going to uh, be the row number. Or you can also use it with cell references. So uh, in this first one, I'll just reference A6, and then it's going to return 6. Um, because that is the number of the row that this cell is on. And then column works the same exact way as row, but for columns. Um, so you can either leave it blank and it will return the number of the column that you're on, or you can use it with cell references to return the number of the column you're referencing. Uh, the next way is just using a basic formula to increment um, so this is another good method if you're trying to do something a little more dynamic. Um, how I'm going to use it is kind of similar to the first method using like the fill handle. Um, I'm going to put a number in here just to start with because I need a starting number and then in the row below it I'm going to take this cell and just add a 1 to it. And then if I copy this formula down, so I can just copy and paste, or I can uh, double click this uh, little blue square. Basically, each time that my formula is copied down, it's always um, adding a one to the row above it. So um, it does basically the same thing as the first method, where it always adds one. So it's basically automatically incrementing my number. Um, so this one's a little more dynamic. You can use it a lot of different ways depending on what you're trying to do. But uh, those are three basic methods for automatically incrementing numbers in Google Sheets. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.